Hey guys. All right. So you saw the title of the video. You saw the clip. I'm going to show you today how to turn either uh, live photos, videos, or the little, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Zepetto characters into live watch faces for your Apple Watch. Um, I've heard that this only works on the Apple Watch Series 2 and up. Um, however, one person did say that it worked on the first generation. I have the fourth, so I can only speak to that. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is an Apple Watch. Uh, you're gonna need a live video or a live photo. Um, if you have your phone, I'll show you the on and off feature to take a live photo. Um, so you're gonna need that or a short video clip. The sweet spot I have found has been about, I don't know, maybe two seconds of video. You'll see what I mean. Um, you're also gonna need an app called Into Live, I-N-T-O-L-I-V-E. Um, this is a paid app, but they have a free version. The difference between the paid and the free is that in the free version, you cannot loop your uh, animation. It'll only play through once. Um, there might be other limitations, but that's the only one that I had ran into. So if you're using the uh, Zepetto app, then the first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously, is uh, create an animation of your character. Okay, so you're gonna wanna hit the photo booth icon. Um, as of the current version, it's the center one on the bottom. Um, all the ones that are, have video options have the little camera icon in the corner. Um, you can hit on the more tab to see like all the video options that are available for that day. So you're just gonna go through, pick the one you want, and then when you do this, this is important, you wanna make sure that you unselect that little person that puts your code on the bottom because you don't want that on your animation. Um, you can select a background if you want to, and then you're just gonna hit download and you wanna download it as a video file. Then you're gonna open up your Into Live app and if you don't see your video there, hit the refresh button and it'll show all the videos that are on your device. And on the bottom, you'll see where it says key photo. So when you hit key photo, you wanna select the last slide in the image because what key photo means is where does the animation end? So if you select the first photo as your key photo, nothing's gonna happen because it's gonna stop on that first image. So you wanna make sure you pick the last one. Then you're gonna hit make. And then uh, for the free version, it's gonna make you watch like a 30 second clip. And then you'll get the option to save uh, to save it to your camera roll. Okay, so once you have it all saved, you're gonna go into your Photos app and select the live photo. You're gonna have two things here now. You're gonna have the video, which is gonna have a timestamp on the corner. That's not the one you want. Pick the live video one. When you long press it on the screen, it'll move. It'll show the animation. So then you're gonna hit the up arrow, like uh, if you were saving or exporting, you're gonna hit that thing. And then you have the option. Again, there's two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the easier way. You're going to hit the up arrow and then you'll see create watch face. You just tap that, it's gonna pull up another window, tap the top one and you're good to go. And there we see our little animation. How cute is that? So the second option is for using a live photo instead of an actual video. The concept here is the same, you still have to have it as a live photo, but you don't have to convert it this time because you can take live photos with your iPhone. So you wanna make sure that this little circular dotted circle is highlighted and it'll turn yellow and then you'll see live in yellow at the top of your screen. Now, when you're taking this photo, basically what it does is it'll take a still photo, but it'll take a second of video before and a second of video after. So you can see before I hit the capture button, I'm already moving my feet because I want it to capture the motion before and directly after. And then you can see that if you long press, it is a live photo because my toes are moving. So the second option for creating a watch face, and this is the one that I prefer, is to still hit that export icon, but this time instead of creating a watch face, you wanna move to album. Now, I created an album on my device called Watch Faces, and all you just do is from your camera roll, there's a little plus thing, create album, you can call it whatever you want to. 
Um, and then I put my watch faces in this album. It tends to give me a little bit more animation time if I do it this way. Like the animation runs for longer if I do it this way. I don't know if it's just my phone or my watch or how it's doing, but that is the way it's working. So that's, this is the way I usually do it. So in order to access this on your watch, you wanna go into the watch app on your phone and then you'll have the faces gallery. I believe it's the second um, option on the bottom. You have your watch and then you have face gallery. You just wanna activate the one that says photos and then anything in your selected folder, cause it'll tell you which folder do you wanna pull these from. Anything that's in that folder will show up as a watch face. So you can stash like four or five in there and cycle through them depending on which one you want that day. So that's it guys. That is how I create my uh, animated watch faces using the Zapetto app or just straight up live photos. And that's all there is to it. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.